How to apply for the Digital Innovation Grant To begin your application, visit the Digital Innovation Grant page on the Enterprising Barnsley website and click the Click Here to Apply Now button. Create your account by filling in your name, email address and choosing a strong password. You will be sent an email once you have registered and you can use your email and password to log in at any time. To start a new application, select New Application and then Digital Innovation Grant from the drop-down menu. Download the guidance document and then continue to application. Before beginning the application, you need to complete the pre-application checklist to check you are eligible for the grant. Once completed, select Continue to Application. There are then three sections to complete. Section 1. Applicant Details Here you will provide details of your business, including details of the primary contact for this project. This should be the person the project administrators will contact with any questions regarding the application. So please make sure this is not a generic inquiries inbox address. The business address must be where the activity will take place. We require the details of all active directors of a company, members of a partnership or senior leadership team members and trustees of a charity or other non-profit organisations so that we can discount any potential links between applicants and their chosen supplier. If you have had any state aid within the last three years, please indicate this in the table provided. You then need to outline the project details in the relevant sections. Section 2. Assessment. There are four questions to answer in Section 2. For the panel to get a good understanding of the project, a comprehensive answer is required for each question. This is a competitive process and there is a finite amount of money available. So this is the time to really sell your project. The four questions will be scored on a yes-no basis, i.e. has the applicant addressed the sub-criteria or not? The grant panel will also take into consideration the economic impact as well as the potential step change the intervention will have on the growth of the business. For more guidance on how to answer these questions, please refer to the guidance document found at the top of your application. Section 3. Confirmations. Please read and agree to the privacy policy data usage statement and the terms and conditions of the scheme and make the necessary declarations before submitting your application. If your application is successful, you will be sent a PDF copy of your application to sign and return. When you have completed all required sections and are ready to submit, select Submit Application. There are six stages your application can be in. These are shown on the My Applications page. The six stages are In progress Before your application is submitted Submitted When your application has been sent off This needs to be by the 27th of August. In review Our grant panel will be assessing all the applications by the 17th of September. More information required the grant panel may ask you to submit more information before they make their decision. The status will change to accepted or rejected depending on the grant panel decision on the 1st of October. For further information, please refer to the Digital Innovation Grant Guidance document.